Hi, this is Nellie Deutsch, and I'm really excited because I finally found a theme for my Moodle sites to replace Essential when Essential no longer updated its theme after 3.6. So this is 3.8, the latest is 3.9, but this is pretty recent, and it's Ed Wiser, and I couldn't be wiser with Ed Weiser. The theme is absolutely amazing. And it's not that expensive. It's so easy to use. So let me show you. I've set it up. It took me a couple of hours because I was doing other things. But in general, it could, if you've got all your images ready, it could take you less than an hour, literally, if you're fast on the keyboard, that is. But it's the process and the experience and the experience with Ed Weiser is absolutely amazing. So let me show you how it goes and why it is so amazing. So first I'm going to go into this toggle so you can see a large view of what it looks like when someone comes in. I haven't finished it, but there's a slider, there's an announcement at the top, and I've added welcome to Moodle training for managers because this is a site for managers to practice using a site, a Moodle site, completely free if you're interested and you've gone through one of my Moodle MOOCs or Moodle for Teachers training courses. So uh, notice these are a few of my marketing courses, but not only courses, sites as well. So it's up to you what you add down here. You can also add YouTube. You don't need to do that because you've got notice down here at the bottom right, but you can have this in the center anywhere you want it. It doesn't have to be on the right. So these are actually blocks that you can place at the bottom. Follow us. Notice um, that comes with it, but I can change the wording, of course. And I can have nothing there, which is also um, something, notice, because it says to go walk drive, um, <laughs> which is something that came with it. And I might want to change that. Something I'll do. Notice this is Creative Commons. Anything here is yours at the taking. It's completely free. Notice that these are my social networks. All right, so uh, that's the slider. Yeah, you can set it up. There are only five, but I'm using four. The login, notice I've got the old login that I had for my previous theme. It's here. And if I click on it, I get a slightly different page. Notice this is a login that I created. I really, really like it. Notice the social icons are here. This is the A-O-U-T-H-2. Um, authorization for these two services, Google and Facebook. Of course, you can add Microsoft and so on. Right now, um, no one's allowed to use the username and password. I have disabled it. This is only for me to log in as the admin. You can log in as a guest. So guests are welcome. Notice the calendar for the events. The upcoming events is available to everyone. So you can use that. Notice here, this is a button that you can close the corridor, open it. I think it's really, really neat. It's called a pin sidebar. All right, so things do have names. Notice here, home. That's the slider, the main page. Showed you the calendar. Showed you the login here, but there's another login, the regular login. You can also search globally across the site, but that's on any other Moodle site and themes. So notice here, again, this is the same login. It's just slightly different. So I'm going to log in. Notice I'm using my Gmail. I'm logging in as the admin so I can show you all the wonderful things that you can do here. I also added Gravatar. I add that to all my Moodle sites. So Gravatar, which means that I don't have to add my profile image. It goes with my email, whatever email I add to Gravatar. Check it out. It's by WordPress or at least it's affiliated with WordPress. 
I also have a Gravatar for anyone who doesn't have their profile on or doesn't have a Gravatar so that I have the theme and they don't have uh, grayed out images for their profile. So right now there aren't any users. This is completely new for now. Okay, I have removed the old users. So notice what these are at the top. That's your main page that is to open up. Notice here, close it up just like the slider on the right. Okay, you can open it and you can also close it. Now notice what's interesting, you close it over here with the arrow, you can see all these other things. So um, let's see what's here, that's the search. So you can click anywhere you open it up and you click anywhere to close it. Okay, so that's, and notice um, the arrows here. And the links for these, um, sliders which actually take you away okay i just want you to realize that but if you click on it it's an open window so it doesn't take you back nonetheless and you're out this is something let me know if you're interested in changing that i'll help you all right so uh notice what's here recent these are the courses that i viewed and all these um links that I added so that you can add and I'll show you how to do that as we go through this. But here we're talking about Ed Weiser and why it's such an amazing theme. So let's go into site administration so we can go into the theme just like you would any other. And here we are, we're going to go into appearance and then scroll down to themes. Notice uh, you need to select this theme. So you need to first install it. And I think the website has all the information about that. But if you need help, I'll be happy to help you with the installation as well. I'm going to be installing it somewhere else and I'll be sure to uh, share that on YouTube. So stay tuned and subscribe to my channel. So let's go down to Edweiser R-E-M-U-I, that's what it's called. Notice I've used a lot of themes in the years and recently. I'm using TinyMC as my default. You can use auto if you like. Okay, so uh, enable announcement, I enabled it. You can see it here and you can add whatever you wish. Notice this is what I added, but I, added a white font which is why you see it in white and you don't see it here but it's here i can assure you so there it is um, you can enable all these things it's so easy to use it's just amazing absolutely amazing notice it's white i changed the color of uh, the slide the side here the sidebar because i prefer white to black but that's preference and you might want to change that so uh, we're here and notice uh, what's available general settings home page settings footer settings login page settings if you want to have a special login page like I have and your information center now your information center is really important because that's where you add the license key so keep that in mind you can also get uh, updates for Edwiser directly from your Moodle site. So that's really exciting. I see there's nothing there now. The login page, we're going to go from right to left the way it usually is on Moodle, the breadcrumbs. So notice this is where you can add your default site panel text color and your images. I didn't add site descriptions because it didn't come out nice. And so I avoided that. But, um, that's my login background page. I got my free images, by the way, from Screencast-O-Matic, but you can get them anywhere else. Make sure that they're CC and not copyright images that you can't use. The footer, notice the footer. Uh, anything interesting here? Well, Quora, I, sh I could add Quora. I, I like the fact that Quora is here. I do have an account. I have to remember to add that. I wonder if it's also Nellie Muller, since Nellie Muller, I created Core many years ago. All right, so notice here with the footer, this is um, the title. Notice uh, foot column, and you can decide where you want to have it at the bottom. I added uh, my CC 
and I added it to the left notice here. You can also put it in the center. I didn't like the way it looked in the center. And um, this is the second column, which is, uh, you can see down here. Isn't that amazing? There it is. Uh, <clears throat> that's next to it. And you, it tells you exactly where it is. Okay, this is the middle. That's, um, okay, the left. So notice uh, it tells you exactly where it is, which is very useful. This is on the front page. You don't have to enable this if you don't want to. You can just leave it out. Um, if you don't want anything on your footer, that's fine. I do. But then you'll just have this large strip. Notice if I click on that, it takes me to the top. Isn't that neat? All right, so let's continue. Okay, so this is what I added. You can open it up. Notice again, it's tiny MC. That's what I'm using. You can also uh, hyperlink, which is what I did here. And with the Creative Commons, okay, this takes you somewhere else. And notice the left text. I didn't add anything here. So um, there's nothing here. That's the footer. So let's uh, continue here. Home page settings. Yay. It's really simple and it comes out so beautiful. I love the colors and I'll show you how you get the site colors. So easy. It was really made for me. All right. So these are the sliders. As I said, the pictures, I didn't add any text. I mentioned that so that it didn't overlay over it. I didn't like that, but you can do it and you can change the color, of course, to suit that. Or you can just add the text without the images. That's up to you. But it's very, very easy to use. You can decide that you want four or five. Notice there are five, but I only opted for four. General settings. All right. So let's see what's here. Enable site announcements. As I said, I enabled it and I changed the font to white, which is why you can't see it, but it's there. And you can change the size according to whatever you want. In my case, it's the heading. So, yes, uh, show headed buttons and drop down. That's up to you. Play around with it. See what it's like. That's my favicon. What I like about it, it doesn't have to be as an ICO, which is what it would be normally in the back end for a favicon. And you can, of course, change that in your um, CP panel or whatever other system you're using where you manage your files for the Moodle. So there, enable focus mode. All right, so that's it. That's how easy it is. All right, so let's go on to the colors. The colors are on the right slider here, corridor, whatever you want to call it. And there's the color icon. Now notice here, I told you, I, I, I prefer white to black there's the black i don't know why but it's just me but you know it's good contrast to have um, a dark sidebar but again i go for the light and then uh, side color you can have primary just try them all and you'll see what they're like i chose custom and this is my custom color you just go into it and there is um, your choice okay there's mine you can see the um, HTML code for it. And there I can, I click on apply site wise and that's what's going to happen. And that's what happened. So I love that. This is by default and I like the color, whatever color you choose. I just love this one. So uh, I'm all for that. Notice, um, that's my communication with myself. What I really like about this is you can also have private um conversations of course but what i like is that you can add things for yourself which is um really nice let's go to see all there's nothing here right now but you can add notes and things for yourself under for yourself uh, which is really nice i've never seen it before anywhere but you can uh, manage your personal you have a personal space now, this is something that nobody has thought of, um, and, and I really like it. Um, you can write messages, um, your personal space. It's like taking notes. I like that. I generally use uh, notes. I add all kinds of things there, but you can add it here. And it's only for your eyes. 
Okay, so that's uh, how you do it. I hope you try it wiser. You can try it out, of course, for free. Um, this is a course. Okay, and um, going to get rid of um, that image. I don't really like it. I also have WizIQ, by the way, if you're interested in learning more about that. So let's go into um, edit settings. I want to get rid of that image because it doesn't look right. Okay, so I'm going to get rid of that. Delete. There we go. I might have to add a smaller image or a round image because it's too large. Let's save that so it doesn't appear. And look what appears instead. So let's go back. Notice what's here now. This is part of the course. The participants of the course. Of course, you can open it up. There we go. Notice I use this to open it up. I love this. I just love it. It's so clean and easy to manage. Okay, your participants, this is for the course, the badges. Well, you're familiar with this, so there's no need to um, say anything about that. Of course, your private files, and there is the site administration if you're the admin or the manager. Everyone in this, in this site is going to be a manager because it's a manager training site. Come back. It's uh, MoodleMooks.com, so you'll get that in the YouTube description area. Come back and see how things develop and how the participants create their courses. There are going to be a lot of courses here, so it's really worth your while. And you'll see what the courses look like as we go. Uh, let me go back to Recent, um, which is this course. Notice uh, that's what's available. Love it. And um, I'm going to go to the Manager Moodle site. Um, let's go Home. Okay. And my courses, I want you to see what it looks like now. It's a lot cleaner. Okay. It's just a box. Different boxes, different colors. And again, I can click on Start and go there. And that's it. Uh, let's go back to the free. There we are. To the slider. Okay, here it is, and that's it. That's what it looks like, and all the courses, you can click on that to view them, and they're going to be in boxes. If you have any questions, feel free to ask, and make sure you go into it. The link is also there in the description. Add your questions to the comment box. I'm here to help, and remember, Edweiser. You will indeed be wiser. Thank you.